used to the standard and you guys you know, needed to embed it during that first game. But what kind of things do you guys now need to do as you prepare for the second game season? Yeah, I think, you know, really just focusing on our operation, um, our communication and the details of the defense. You know, I think that was one thing that was, uh, you know, showing up a little bit was, you know, top down, we got to we got to execute the defense. We got to execute what's called. And, you know, we didn't we didn't really do that uh, throughout all four quarters. And so, you know, there's there's things that, that we're going to work on. Um, obviously, the first time playing a different opponent uh, this season. So, um, you know, I think it's obvious from the from the final score that it wasn't up to our standard but you know more so just watching the tape and um, you know really breaking down the film I think that's where you know we kind of take it and not really looking at the result but looking more so at the process of how how that happened how much more do you think this might that reminder uh, of what the standard is we'll see more of it on Saturday um, you know going into this game after now that you get this one out of the way yeah I think that's real um, you know, like like I said, just the the mindfulness of where we want to be and having the growth mindset of continuously getting better, um, whether that's in the details of the defense, whether that's effort, whether that's taking the ball away, affecting the quarterback, stopping the run, um, all of those things play play together in hand. And um, you know, we're we're coming to work every single day with that on our mind. And you know, it's taking another step uh, this this weekend. Um, you see out there today, uh, Balin make a big play. Uh, what have you noticed from him? <laughs> this you know, training camp and then the first preseason. Yeah, I think Balin's got a lot more comfortable within the defense, um, within the scheme. He's a really smart player. He's physical. He's fast. He has all the all the physical tools. Um, and I think, you know, what we've seen is him him take another step in, you know, just his his operation and how how he's playing within the defense. Um, like you said, making plays, he's been been doing really good in the run game with his hands. Um, and then just being vocal while he's out there, you know, he he's a guy that knows what's going on and so he helps the other guys around him and you know it's been it's been fun to see what was the rhythm or the pacing however you wanted of, of uh, bobby calling the plays into your headset what was that like yeah it was good um you know it was it was calm um clear concise you know we have a lot of reps now from otas training camp going into the first week of the preseason and um you know it's 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 another day when we're out there um i think you know, having him in the headset, he was giving me tips like he's been doing all season of, you know, things to expect, things that are coming. Uh, you know, I was only out there for a few plays, but, you know, just getting getting back in that rhythm and in that groove, it was it was fun to be out there. Is that, I mean, now you've only had two guys doing it for you, but is that usual that you get the tips too as opposed to just the call? I think so. Um, you know, last year with, with Coach McDermott doing it, I think, um, you know, he was he was a little slower at the beginning of the year, just helping me, you know, really with with my um, my assignment and what I needed to do and really getting the calls out and the communication to everybody. Now, you know, kind of taking the next step of, you know, figuring out the situation, the down and distance um, formations, personnel, that type of thing. So having all those uh, little things coming in, you know, it, it helps me understand the game a little bit better and understand, you know, why he's calling what he's calling. This week before you play, Pittsburgh, you get to practice against Pittsburgh. Do you look forward to that to be able to actually practice against Pittsburgh? Yeah, definitely. You know, we've been going against our own guys for, for a long time now. Um, so have the opportunity to go up there and compete against them, obviously, before we play uh, will be helpful. I think anytime you can go against another another team, you know, you figure out strengths and weaknesses of our own team and um, you have a, an opportunity to compete. So it's going to be fun.